tell you, you can probably shut this door though, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's the amateur building, it's this easy. <laughs> and I was just wondering, uh, how long have you been working in the industry for? Uh, in terms of film, well, I used to be at Shot Films, uh -huh. uh, from Shot Films. So back in 2005, Scott Shot Films, mm -hmm. there was almost nowhere to screen them in Edinburgh. Almost very few places. Mm -hmm. So I kind of got together with some shot Edinburgh based shot filmmakers. And we thought there's no way it's going to work. And then we met somebody from the Lee Festival and said, oh, well, why don't you put some films on in Lee Festival? Um, and we did uh, in 2005. And the festival director came by and he said, oh, it's quite busy. You know, would you like to do it in a bigger venue? And he said, okay, next year. And uh, so it kind of grew from there. Then in 2011, when we set the Edinburgh Shot Film Festival up, uh, we've had a limited uh, availability for, you know, recent film venues, there was a few pubs and bars and things like that. But moving to Edinburgh gave us access to you know, better screen facilities, so I mean, it kind of grew from there really. So, right, cool. so, um, so yourself, uh, how passionate are you about filmmaking and all that? Oh, I love it. Yeah, I mean, that, you know, that's, that's kind of what I was like, shot filmmaking myself. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it was really from that, that kind of, and I love film, you know, I've always loved you know, feature films, um, movies and so on. And making films and now exhibiting films, so it's kind of a yeah, natural progression for me. What would you say your favourite film is? Well, it's kind of hard, it changes, you know. I mean, I've got yeah, quite a lot of films I really like. Um, I couldn't, you know, the thing is, it changes from day to day. I mean, I like, I know, yeah. you know, I like, I like comedies, I like dark comedies, I like um, retro horror, I like drama and tons of stuff. So, you know, I would, I would I'd hesitate to say, I, like, I used to, when I was a kid, I used to love the Maltese Falcon. Uh -huh. Which was, I remember when I was a kid watching that and going, wow, this is amazing, you know, just loved it. Um, and that kind of got me into old films, and then from there, just. There used to be a, a series called Movie Drama on BBC Two, mm -hmm. uh, it was presented by Alex Cox, filmmaker, and it introduced you to all these crazy films. I mean, Harold and Maud, Badlands, you know, all these sort of really, uh, not just American, but uh, European films like Wings of Desire and, and all this stuff that you'd never be able to see before. So I used to watch Movie Drama religiously, you know. Mm -hmm. You'd come on, introduce the film, and I kind of got hooked from that. Absolutely, you know, yeah, I get that. Um, so, like, so you, the, the director of the Edinburgh Short Film Festival. So, like, what did you have to do to, like, progressively make your way up there? Like, well, basically, just just working at it. I mean, we started to say we did five years uh, exhibiting film from the festival, mm -hmm. um, and then from that, I gained a, a bit of knowledge, and we're going to set this up. It's fact, you know, it's a case of managing it incrementally. It's kind of grown over eight years. This is our eighth year. Um, it kind of grows each time, you're just managing that growth, yeah. so it's learning as you go really. Mm -hmm. So over that time I've picked up different things that have helped the festival to progress. Yeah. So you feel like it's improved over the years? Yeah, just, just generally, it's just like, it's managing the growth, it's got bigger, there's more submissions, there's quite a lot. There's, our focus really is on strong programming. Mm -hmm. So I've learned, you know, about the importance of you know, programming in film festivals and, and making sure that you have a reputation for a strong programme. Yeah. Uh, so that's kind of our focus now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I do learn, you know, learn lots of things. Because I mean, when you, when you do a film exhibition, it's not just about liking film, it's about the technical side of screening them, and then managing the box office and marketing and, and all that kind of side of things. There's a lot of different aspects that you kind of learn as you go on. So it's really over time, essentially. All right. Well, thank you very much. Not at all. No, thank you for speaking to me. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah.